While the teams are out on the field getting loose, the fans are filing in and finding their seats for the game. On the side, my cohort, Peter O'Keefe. Peter, our game features one of the best wideouts in the game. Unquestionably, man. He's one of those players who can change the whole complexion of the game. We'll see how he does once the game begins, Peter. But first, let's go to the coin toss. Underway. Johnson fields it all the way back to the floor. Stop at the 25. Johnson got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. The Cowboys send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their own 25 yard line. Pearson goes in motion. for a first down. Number 83 is head-to-head -head on this one with the pass coverage, and the ball is waiting for him downfield. That's a great catch. It's all about being in the right place at the right time, Dan. Perfect execution. And Peter, that play doesn't get off the ground unless he runs a very precise route. And he had to to beat his man. Couple of the best banging heads there. Four receivers line up as the defense settles into a nickel package. Number 12, rifles this one, and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. Holding, Holding. Number, number 64, 64. offer. Ten, Ten yard penalty from the spot, the spot of the foul. foul. Repeat number 64, down. he's all over his defender on this one. He grabs him and does not let go. The refs aren't big fans of this, and they throw the flag. Yep, that's offensive holding right there. Good call. First down, 20 yards to go. Pearson makes the nice catch, and that's a gain of seven on the play. Number 12 threw a nice pass past the coverage and got the completion. Tough throw, but an accurate throw. Peter, they get some of the yards back, but they will need more of the same on the upcoming second down. Yeah, they got into a hole on first down, but they're climbing out a bit. We'll see what happens. Number 12 unloads this one. Finally stopped at the 46. That will bring up first down. Number 83 doesn't let a little thing like double coverage stop him from snagging the football. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. Hands up, get your hands First and 10. Ten. Ten. Ball, Ball 36 yards. Yard. Yard. Number 21 takes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Number 21 got himself in prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. The defense stood up to that play and shuts down what would be a minimal gain anyway. It'll be second down. Number 12 rifles it out left side and it's on. Incomplete. Third down. Well, Graham, we got an empty backfield, five receivers, and the defense is in their dime. Let's watch. Good to connect on 
on this one. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Pearson looked like he was all over that one, but it just got away somehow. Tough incompletion. That's his first drop, and it is not often you see that from him. No, normally he's pretty sure-handed. Mike lines up for the punt. Mike takes the long snap and punts it away. The Steelers get their offense on the field and will start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Harris didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. Harris was frustrated on that play. He got open, but failed to make the catch across the middle for the incompletion. That falls incomplete, but it would have been a minimal gain had they completed it anyway. Number 12 fires this one over the middle, and this one is incomplete. Smith had that ball in his hands on that play, and then he just dropped it. That would have gotten the first, but it's incomplete, and it will be third down. Lock him down. Third and ten. Ball is Steelers, 20 yard run. Puts a lick on the receiver and separates him from the ball. Incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Kyle closed in from the zone and forced the incompletion. Well, the D holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Oh, it sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. Number five lines up to punt after the three and out. Number five gets the snap and punts it away. Johnson leaves it at the 41. Tackled at the 47. Johnson didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Cowboys had their last drive stall out at the end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at their 47-yard line. Number 83 goes in motion. Johnson grabs the ball, and that will be a gain of three yards. Johnson had a man playing him close back there, but he made a great move to get the catch. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Second, second and seven. seven. Number 12 throws the heater and he's on target for a gain of five. Number 58 with the tackle. Number 12 knows how to spread the ball around as you can see by this passing chart here. He's getting the ball into his receiver's hands and has piled up 47 yards and no touchdowns. Third down, two tight ends in the game. Number 33 cruises out to the left side and converts the third down. First down, Cal Cowboy. First and 10. Ball of 41. Number 12, rifles it out left side, and it is not reeled in, incomplete. Pearson did not make that completion, and he would have had some room on the outside had he made it. That's the third incompletion his way, Peter. Yeah, and he's starting to look a little frustrated down there, too. Second and 10. will be a gain of three yards. 
Number 12 threw a perfect pass back there. You know, I had a better shot at it than the defense did, and hey, I'm up here in the booth. Another short pass, and he likes there that area of the field so That's far. Nice. And why not? He's had success there. Third down, three wideouts in the game. Number 83 goes in motion. Number 12 really rifles this pass and it's knocked away from the receiver incomplete. Fight gets ready to punt this away. Number 86 to make their turn. Fight takes the snap and kicks what will be a short one. Number 32 gets it off the bounce at the two. The Steelers stalled early last drive and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their own three yard line. Waters targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. And I'll tell you, Peter, he made a great tackle I'm there. Fine. He brought down one of the more elusive backs in the game. Well, you're absolutely right, Dan. But if there's one guy on this defense that can stick with the ball and make the play, it was him. Number 88 goes in motion. Number 20 gets the call again and picks up a couple. Number 56 with the tackle. Third and eight. Ball, Ball the Steelers, Steelers four yard yard line. Number 20 gains five on the play, and that will bring up fourth down. Waters made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. That's his second tackle so far. Number five lines up in his own end zone for the punt. Make the return turn. Number five gets the ball and punts it away. Johnson fields the punt at the 47. Tackled at the 41. Johnson did a nice job getting some yards after fielding the solid punt. The Cowboys have a short field and will start this drive at the 41-yard line. Number 12, fires this one over the middle, and the ball is caught for a gain of seven on the play. Number 83, had a defender close by, but was able to bring down the catch. I think the short game is working for them, moving them forward a little at a time. And just nickel and diming the D. Punches this one left of center, and picks up a couple. Number 33 didn't get very far on that last play, and he even had the help of some blocking. Then I guess the defense had their number. Not much there, but they'll get another shot on third and short. Number 33 gets the lead again and picks up the first down. Number 33 played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. A big gain on third, and they will easily move the chain. Perfect call for the situation, Dan. No trouble in getting the first. First down, tight end to the left. Number 33 picks up about two, and that brings up second down. Second and eight. Pearson goes in motion. Number 33 takes it for his fifth boy and maybe picks up one on the play. Peter, once he closes his grip around you, you are not going to get free, regardless of how evasive you are. Not with that strength. With those guns, he could probably juggle bowling balls, or wide receivers for that matter. This one will fall 
incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Number 83. Had that one come right to him back there. You have to catch those passes, baby. That's his first drop of the game, and while every drop does hurt, you can't throw too much blame on him for that one. That would have been a tough catch. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Number one with the 43-yard attempt, and they take the lead. Number one knocks through a good-sized kick. Watch here. Nowhere close to his max, but he's obviously still very pleased to pull it off. Number one, one. picking off for the cowbell. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. What a kickoff through the uprights. Give that kicker three points. The Steelers have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive as they start at their own 20-yard line. Number 88 goes in motion. Harris goes right out the middle and will gain close to six. And that'll do it for That's quarter the number the one. The Cowboys with a small lead, three to nothing. Second down for the eye. it in the flat and he loses yards on that one. Barnes targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. They don't let that play get back to the line of scrimmage and that will bring up third down. Dalworth goes in motion. Number 12, zips it to the left sideline, and it's incomplete. tipped, incomplete, fourth down, coming up. Henderson got himself in prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. It seemed yeah. like the defense oh, read that one from the beginning, and they forced the incompletion with Ruddle to be. Beautiful call by the D coordinator. It'll be fourth down. Number five, lines up to punt after the three and out. Number five, gets the ball and pummels this one deep. Johnson fields the deep punt at the 28. Brought down at the 37. Johnson returned for a few there, but after that gigantic punt, it was like tearing a single page out of war and peace. It doesn't make much of a dent. The Cowboys have been locked in a defensive struggle so far. They will start this drive at their 37-yard line. Choose up about four on the play. Number 31 with the tackle. Second, Second and six. six. Ball 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 ball. Number 83 goes in motion. <laughs> this pass will fall harmlessly to the ground and it's incomplete. Number 12 throws a ball to the flat and it falls incomplete. Pearson didn't have anybody on him and yet he couldn't make the catch. Another ball comes his way and another incompletion. Come up blank so many times in a row is 
Well, it's got to be demoralizing for the player. Absolutely, but you got to fight through the slump and grab one to get ready. Fight gets ready to punt this away. Fight takes the snap and punts it away. Smith fields it at the 17. Hammered down at the 28. Smith racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Steelers haven't got much out of their offense recently, and we'll see if they can get back on track here. This drive begins at their own 28-yard line. Number 20 picks up about two, and that will bring up second down. Second and seven. Ball the Steelers, 30 yards. Yard. Yeah. Yeah. He's got the first down and the is happy about that play. Great call by the offensive coordinator. And it will be a first down. Number 12 throws this on a rope and it's caught at the 48 and he's stopped right there. Number 12 had no trouble zinging that one past the secondary. That was one heck of a throw. That took some strength, Peter. You can't plow him down the way uh, you plow through a buffet line. <laughs> hey, that depends on what you're serving. Prime rib, watch out. <laughs> Number 12 made the throw that was off target there, incomplete. Barnes stayed so close to his assignment he could have taken his calls for him. <laughs> incomplete pass. That'll give us a third down, and the defense was ready for that call. Well played, and a good job of not giving up the short pass. Number 12, uncorked this to the left sideline, and it's off, incomplete. Number 5, lines up for the punt. Punt formation. Number 86, to make the return. Turn. Number five takes the long snap and punts it away. The Cowboys bring their offense on the field and will start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Three will lose a bunch here, and that will bring up second down. Number 58 targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That will be his fourth tackle of the contest. Completion. Number 23 wouldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. That is their fourth batted ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell you, we've seen a number of good defensive plays from this squad. We sure have. We'll see if they can keep it up, though. Third down and five wide receivers take the field. <laughs> Number 12 fires this one over the middle and... Come on, stop. Okay, bring him out. Bring him out. We have to change. Not even close. Not even close. No first, baby. No first. Yeah! Oh, man. Fight lines up to punt after the three and out. Number 86 to make the return turn. Fight gets the snap and punts it away. Fields the punt at the 31. Dragged down at 
the 32. Smith didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Steelers' uh, offense has taken the field, and they have been having a very tough time passing the ball. They have another opportunity here as they start off at their 32-yard line. 20. We'll get the carry on first down and picks up a couple. Second down and four wideouts in the game. Stallworth goes in motion. This is number called on second down and maybe picks up one on the play. Number 20 had blockers on his side on that last play, but the defense was too smart. It gave him nowhere to go. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, Dan. Big play coming up. Number 12. the first on third and long. Smith moves by two defenders on this play, but still comes up with the ball. Oh, that's pure skill. You can't coach that. That was the little atonement for dropping the ball the last time it was thrown his way. He definitely made sure that he held on to that. A much better focus that time around. Harris will take the handoff and only gets back to the line of scrimmage. Number 75 with the tackle. Tack. Second down with the tight end, Light. Number 12. Light is it out left to the tight end. The reception's made at the 36. Hunt it goes on at the 32. It will be first down. continue to run. Third down, coming up on the 10th play of the drive. No good, incomplete. Pass interference, number 42, defense. The ball is placed in the spot of the foul. Automatic number 42. first down. Man handled that receiver back there like a puppy playing with a chew toy, Dan. And he rightly got slapped with defensive pass interference. First and 10. Ball to 19. Number 12 throws a lob here and it's incomplete. With the reflection. Second and 10. Liz, 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 Liz. Bro, bro, bro. I got two, I got two over here. Down! Set! Number 20, number 20 the ball carrier. Number, number 31, 31 with the tackle. Tack. 
number 12. Just <laughs> this one. And the catch is made at the 13. Tackled, and the clock will continue to run. It'll be first and goal. First down, goal to go. Wow, I like the running duo in the backfield here. They'll try and pound it in. Harris catches it in the flat, and he's in for the score. Great job of seeing the ball in your hands, picking up those critical few yards. That's his first touchdown of the day. And I think he's a guy you can count on to make those end zone catches. He sets a high standard for himself and usually makes it. Now the point after, and it's good. Off the, the ref gets the signal, and we're set. Number 10 kicks this one away. Johnson fields the kickoff at the 2. Stop at the 32. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Look at how many times they've had to punt it away. They've got to put a few longer drives together and get into the end zone. Johnson was able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. The Cowboys offense takes the field with the clock at 28. Number 33. The Cowboys take their first time out. Second down, Second two receivers to the left. Ball, 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 36 yard yard. Yard. Number 47 puts a leg on the receiver and separates him from the ball. Incomplete. Number 47 had superb coverage on that play. No wonder it was incomplete. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Number 12 rifles this one hard over the middle, and it's knocked away from the receiver. Incomplete. Oh, I love watching great plays like this again. It's great the first time around, but it's really sweet on the replay. Oh, I just can't get enough of this action. What a tremendous display of athleticism. Fight gets ready to punt this away. Number 86 to make the return. Fight takes the long snap and punts it away. Smith gets it to the 20. Tackled at the 27. Smith didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Steelers' offense takes the field with the clock at 7. Number 12, fires this one over the middle, and he's on target for a gain of five. Uh, that's what I'm talking about, baby. I'm bringing it. I'm bringing it, yeah. And that'll do it for the first that's half of this end. one. The Steelers are out in front, 7-3. to three. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer. And we'll get back to you in a bit. But welcome, everybody, to the ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Chris Berman. The Steelers, therefore, find themselves in a tight ball game. Anything can happen in the second half. Let's get started on this one early in the first quarter. Number 12 connected with his man on this one. After driving 15 yards on six plays, number one would be called upon for the field goal try, and he'd come through. Connect on the field goal. 
Steelers later on in the second quarter. Steelers losing by three. Number 12 would find his target on this one. The Steelers again have it. Number 12 would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. A 20-yard play that set up a Steeler touchdown. And that's where we'll leave this one. Steelers are holding on to a lead, 7-3. And as far as my halftime hero, well, there's really no contest. Number 32 has played outstanding. And now let's return to the second half. Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe. Thanks, Boomer, and welcome back to our broadcast presented in ESPN Game Sound. Designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. The Steelers will receive to start the second half, and they currently enjoy a small Number one kicks it off to begin the second half. What a kickoff through the uprights. Give that kicker three points. The Steelers will start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Number 12, zips it to the left side of the line, and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. Number 12, showing off some precision passing out there again. Really, he's exploiting the short game so far. He's got 89 yards and one touchdown. Number 20 will get stopped 20, at the line, and carrier. that brings up second Number down. Number 43 with the tackle. All right, what have you got? Okay, all right. Second down, three wideouts in the game. Ball at the Steelers, 35 yard line. Dalworth goes in motion. Number 12, throws a bullet and it's caught at the 46. Chase down at the 48. First down. Smith had three guys covering him on this play, and he's still making the catch. I don't know if it was a good effort by him or a bad one by the defense. They could have been both. It's hard to believe that play worked. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Right next to the The 47. Number 20 just hasn't gotten into a groove and isn't finding running room anywhere. This has been tough and he struggled to get 14 yards on 10 carries. Could somebody please block second and 11. Ball is 47 yard line. Number 12 unloads this to the right sideline and it's intercepted. Runs out at the 44. Coming out. Waters does a fantastic job breaking down the play and knowing where to be to intercept the pass. Having help in the zone really paid off for him. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you gotta love D like that. The Cowboys are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at the 44-yard line. Number 33, chews up four yards, and that brings up second down. Second, second and five. five. Ball at the 40 yard line. Number three gets past the line and picks up a couple. Number 23 with the tackle. Third and three. Ball, ball. 
They convert on third down. First down, two wideouts on the field. Number 12 zings it to the right side and gets intercepted. Run down at the 16. here will start at their own 16-yard line. Harris catches it in the flat and he's looking for room. Brought down hard at the 26. Holding. Number 57. Offense. Half the distance to the goal from the spot by Davis Bob. held his man on that play. And hey, you can't do that. That was offensive holding any day of the week. First and 17. Number 12 throws a beauty to the right side. And the reception is made past the markers for a first down. First down, both tight ends left. Number 88 goes in motion. Back 43. Back 43. <laughs> Number 20 gets the call on first down and chews up about four on the play. Second and six. six. Ball at the Steelers, 32 yard line. Number 12 zips it to the left sideline and they can't connect. Incomplete. Step it up, Deez! Third and six. Ball at the Steelers, 32 yard yard. Number 88 didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Number 12 was really rolling the dice there by throwing into double coverage. You know, they might have picked him off there. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Number 5 takes the snap and punts it away. Johnson feels the punt at the 24. Tackled at the 35. Johnson did a nice job getting some yards after fielding the solid punt. The Cowboys have been locked in a defensive struggle so far. They will start this drive at their 35-yard line. Number 33 gains five on the play, and that will bring up second down. Second and five. Number 33 takes it off the toss and gets past the line. Dragged down at the 41. Number 33 had some blocking help on that last one, but he was still left with nowhere to go. Not a lot of room on that play. It will be third down. Third down, four yards to go. Johnson goes in motion. Pick 
Pearson catches it in the flat and is at the 50. Eventually shoved out at the 47. That will bring up first down. Pearson makes the catch, but watch here what he does after the completion. Caught and now fight for more yards. You can't coach that. What a big play on third down, Peter. His run after the catch is what made the play work. Yeah, Dan, you have to fight for those yards in that situation, and that's exactly what he did. up second down number 33 got some help on that one in the form of blocking but he still couldn't make a play out of it not much there it'll be second down gotta take what you can get dan but they were you know hoping for more second and nine ball on 46 yard number 33 gets the ball again and takes it up field the 42. Third down, one man down. Number 33, choose up four yards, and they will be just shy of the markers. Fourth down. Number 64 made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. They let the ball move close to the first, but they could not let it pass. That's a great job holding them back, Dan. Fourth and short. This one falls incomplete, and they will turn the ball over on down. <laughs> Number 47 sticks to his man all the way. Look at that coverage. That pass doesn't have a prayer of getting where it's going. Man-to-man -man can be so effective when the DB can read the play that well. They only needed a little bit, but couldn't even get that to convert on fourth down. Just shy that time, Peter. Yeah, a bold call, and they'll boldly turn it over on downs. The Steelers' offense takes the field, and can they capitalize on the defensive stop? Well, they'll start this drive at their 39-yard line. Number 88 goes in motion. Number 12 throws this on a rope. And this one is incomplete. With the deflection. Second down from the eye. Ball has stealing for 39 yard line. Waters tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Waters starts to disrupt things. He got in there and he smacked that pass away. Great D. They have really gotten after the ball as a team today. That is their fifth batted ball. Nice, aggressive D. Number 12 unloads this one to the left, and the reception is made for a first and more. 15, high, and he's in for the touchdown. Extra point and it's good. Number ten, kicking off the steel. There's the signal, and we're ready. Number ten kicks it off. 
Johnson catches it back at the one. Stopped at the 23. Johnson got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. The Cowboys' offense is on the field, and they have not produced well at all. They are looking for an answer as they start this drive at their own 23-yard line. Pearson goes in motion. Is right of center and picks up a couple. Number 31 with the tackle. Second and eight. Ball ball count goes 25 yard hard. Number 12 airs this one to the left sideline and it's caught at the 46. And he stopped right there. First down. Number 83 is matched up well with the defense on this one, but is able to stay one step ahead for the completion. It's worth another look here. Oh, yeah, the D might want to put more men on him next time. That's they don't the have their eye point. on the deep game much today, but this time it worked out. And try, try again, and you'll eventually succeed, huh? And that'll do it for the third quarter. Steelers enjoying the lead, 14-3. First down, both right outs to the right. Pearson catches it in the flat, and that's good for a gain of five. Ah, come on! Number 12 has found limited success in the passing game so far, Dan, and he just can't seem to get into a rhythm out there. I'd say he's not very pleased with his performance. So far, he's got 120 yards and one interception. Smith goes in motion. Number 33 gains three yards, and that will bring up third down. Let's stop him here. Wow, look at those tackles. That's how you play sideline to sideline. Tips it away on the coverage. Incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Number 47 swatted that one away cleanly. The receiver didn't have a prayer in getting that one. That was a fantastic job by the defense to stop what would have been a first down. I love to see big D on third and short situations. Fourth down. Defenses love to hear that from the refs. Pike lines up for the punt. Pike gets the ball and punts it away. Smith there catches it at the 11. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Well, look at the punts. And to me, it's completely surprising that they are winning this one after being forced to give the ball up so many times. The Steelers have a long field ahead of them and start this drive back at their own 12-yard line. The 19. Stallworth took on triple coverage and came away with a phenomenal catch. The balls are coming his way in the middle, and he's making them pay. You have to like his performance so far. Well, Dan, I like any receiver who's willing to go over the middle and sacrifice the body to make the catch. Harris barges up the right side and picks up the first down. Harris took advantage of some really good blocking there on that last run. When you get the initial surge like that, good things happen, especially in the ground. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. Number 88 goes in motion. Number 20 carries it for the 12th time, and heads left. Drag down at the 28. Number 43 with the tackle. Okay, let's go. 
Number 20 has been searching for a rhythm out there, Dan, and he's coming up short. It seems like his timing is way off. He's working hard, but only has 22 yards on 12 carries. Second and six. Ball at the Steelers, 28-yard line. Number 20 gets the call again and gains about three yards. Third and two. Ball at the Steelers, 30 yard line. Jack Cole, A3. Jack Cole, A3. Number 20 gets the call on third down and heads up field. The 38. It will be first down. First down, two wideouts on the field. Number 12 lobs this one over the middle, and it falls incomplete. With the deflection. Second and ten. ten. Ball at the Steelers, 38 yard line. Harris goes right up the middle and moves forward for seven. Harris got yards by staying so close to his blockers. I think they were sharing each other's aftershave. They move the ball, and that'll bring up third down. Ball at the Steelers, 45 yard line. Number 20 gets the handoff and passes the line. Tackled at the 46. Lewis was in on the tackle. It'll be fourth down. Lewis made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. That's his third tackle of the game. Number five gets ready to punt this away. Number five gets the snap and punts it away. Johnson catches it at the 14. Brought down at the 16. Johnson got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Cowboys are down but not out. They'll start this critical drive at their own 16-yard line. Number 12 fires this one over the middle and it's incomplete. Pearson had that ball in his hands on that play and then he just dropped it. That's two drops by one of the more sure-handed receivers in the game. Wow, it's not often you see him out of sync like this. Number 58 makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Number 58 managed to disrupt things. He got in there and he smacked that pass away. Great deal. You know, as a team, they are batting down passes left and right. That is their sixth Third so far. Down. Wow, great anticipation of the pass. Third down from the shotgun. Number 12 throws a heater and it's knocked away from the receiver incomplete. Number 51 was sitting back in the zone waiting for the pass and then closes enough to force the incompletion. Nice job. Well, the knee holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Oh, it sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. They've decided to go for it and I gotta tell you, unless they pull off a miracle here, they're really gonna put their defense in a tight spot. Johnson can't hold on to it. He was hammered, and that will force a turnover on down. Pass interference. Number 47. Defense. The ball was placed in the spot of the foul. Automatic 47. The man handled that receiver back there like a puppy playing with a chew toy, Dan. And he rightly got slapped with defensive pass interference. Number 
12. Rifles outside, and it's caught at the 33. Second down with the tight end, right. the first down and a whole lot more. Number 12 throws a bullet to the flat and it's tipped incomplete. Number 12 has been searching for a rhythm out there and he's come up short Dan. As you can see by these numbers he's been having a rough day of it. So far, he struggled to get 143 yards and no touchdowns. Keep your eyes on the pass. Second and 10. Ten. All of the 46 yards. Yard. is well past the markers for a first down. Number 12 dumps this one to the front and the catch is made for a gain of a couple. No dice and it falls in big hit. Number 51 was able to force the incompletion back there. He stuck very close on that scene. Number 12 throws a bullet and it's tipped. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Number 21 swatted that one away cleanly. The receiver didn't have a prayer in getting that one. Another batted ball, and they have been attacking the pass every chance they get. That's right, Dan. You know, why simply defend the pass when you can obliterate it? Number one boots it from 47 yards out, and it's up through the goal post. Good. Yeah, good job, man. Yeah, yeah. Number one really gets the whole ball here, and he needed it. Watch. That's a powerful kick for three points, my friend. When he needs to, he can boot that thing. Number one, one. kicking off. The They're setting up for the onside kick. Number one bounces it up. Number 35 gathers it up at the 36. Touchdown at the 31. Number 35 wasn't going to let a miracle happen on this onsides. It comes his way and then gets his hands around it to put the offense out on the field. Great work by this hands team. They can't bring down the onside kick. Pretty aggressive play calling there, though. Well, the offense is like a one in four chance of recovering those, uh -huh. but they knew the risks. The Steelers, offense takes the field with time winding down. They'll start at the 31 yard line. Number 20 loses one on the play, and that will bring up second down. Lewis was a one man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. That will be his fourth tackle of the contest. Watch the counter. Second down, both tight ends left. Number 88 goes in motion. Second down, the clock is stopped at two minutes. Second down, and the Cowboys take their first time out. Third down, three wideouts in the game. Rips it. Cowboys 
They'll take a timeout. That's their second. Is Number five lines Number five up to punt five. after the three and out. Number 86 to make the return. return. Number five gets the ball and kicks what will be a short one. Number 36 gets it off the bounce at the four. The Cowboys will start this drive deep in their own territory with the clock at 1.43. Number 83 didn't hold that one in, and it falls incomplete. Number 83 ran a post pattern on that last play, but he couldn't make the catch. Second down, the clock is stopped at 1.40. Number 12 throws the ball into the flag and the Cowboys take a timeout. That's their final one. Third down and four wideouts in the game. First on third and long. Ball with the Cowboys, 25 yard yard. Number 12. Lines it out right outside, and the catch is made for the first. The clock continues to tick down. First down, 10 yards to go. Pearson makes a tough catch, and the clock continues to wind down. Number 12 throws this on a rope, and they can't connect. Incomplete. Third down and five wide receivers take the field. the fastball over the middle and they convert on third down Steele is going to keep his wits about him here and make a smart play the ball's loose but now he gains control whether the player had possession prior to the fumble alright what have you got okay alright Well, Dan, we've got to see if the receiver established possession before he lost the ball. Remember, he has to have full control of it. Well, it doesn't look like he had possession, Dan. I call it an incompletion and overturn. did not have possession of the ball prior to the fumble. Fourth down. He likes the call, and you sort of have a feeling that he knew it all along. Delivers a punishing blow to the ball carrier there. And he gives up the football for the fumble. Great hard-nosed defensive play. Peter there. Team well, the player in possession prior to the fumble. All right, what have you got? Okay, all right.
Well, Dan, we've got to see if the receiver established possession before he lost the ball. Remember, he has to have full control of it. Well, it doesn't look like he had possession, Dan. After I call review, it an incompletion and an overturning. Pass. The, receiver the receiver did not, not have possession, possession of the ball, of the ball prior, prior to the fumble. fumble. First, First down, down Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. He likes the call, and you sort of have a feeling that he knew it all along. Dan, this game is over. There's no way for the D to stop the clock, and the offense is just going to sit on the ball to win this one. That's all, folks. They can now run out the clock. What a performance. Second leg. Ball, ball, ball 46 yards. Yard. Well, this is where the offense goes in slow motion. No hurry to start the play. Use up as much time as possible. Dan, I want to point out something on that last play. Did you notice the job he did in letting the play clock wind all the way down That's before snapping the ball? That's good clock management. And that is going to do it for this one. The Steelers come out on top 14 to 6. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye. Until next time. Right, Dan, thank you. So this one is in the books as we welcome you all to our ESPN Video Games post-game show. I'm Chris Berman. The Steelers stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Number 41 was in the right place at the right time, as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. The boys on defense, the ball at the 25-yard line. Number 51 is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. The Steelers, after getting an interception, Steelers out in front by four. Number 12 would find his target on this one. The Steelers have it after a turnover on downs. Number 88 came up with a big play as he was able to pull this one in. A 61-yard touchdown for the Steelers. Steelers out in front, 14 to three. Number 12 would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. After driving 54 yards on 10 plays, number one sets up the fugal attempt from just about the parking lot. Got a lot of leg though. He's got it. Connect on their second field goal. Cowboys behind by eight. Number 12 connected with his man on this one. And that's where we'll leave this one. Steelers edge out a win, 14 to six. Now let's catch up with the player who really ignited his team's offense with his death passing and has earned our Player of the Game Award. Number 12 is standing by with our Susie Calvert. Susie? Thanks, Chris. You played brilliant. You may have the ingredient your team needed to pull out a win here. What was the key to your success? Well, I have to give it up to the other team. I got to give them credit for playing hard and making us really work for it. We just leave it all on the field and let the chips fall where they may. And luckily, we came up with the win today. Chris, back to you. That concludes our... Get your hand off my penis!